Yo, what's going on, everybody? DJ Mines here. So yesterday was insane. Maybe depending on your time zone, it still is happening today. But we're almost 24 hours now with KRC20 launch. It seemed to go really well. We're going to talk about the good, the bad, some of the things that happened, why this happened, maybe some of the things that are upcoming. And uh, hey, if you know more than me, feel free to let me know in the comment section below because I don't know everything. I'm just kind of talking about what I know. So the price of Caspa is at 17 cents. So yesterday was 17, 18. So really no change there. No massive dump. Nobody didn't believe in the project or maybe believed in the project more. I'm not sure, but the price didn't really reflect on anything. So let's talk about the mining first. The Casper hash rate actually is about the same. Roughly, we're at one exahash, a little bit under, you know, it's kind of fluctuating. And then I saw a Twitter post from Red Panda Mining, and he was saying that actually his um, KS5L, I believe it is, is down from getting hosted at Ice River. So maybe we'll see a nice network drop there. But let's talk about these rewards. Oh, my goodness. Now, just to show you guys here. And the last 24 hours, or you could even look here, last 24 hours, I've already made 245 CASPA. That's insane. 245. Now, on a regular day, just to show you, you know, we probably get uh, you know, 100, but that's not even in one day. That's in multiple days. You can see here, September 9th through the 12th is when we finally got paid 100. So really, it's about two days. Sometimes it's three days. You can see it takes multiple days just to get 100. So about 50 to 55 a day. But already we made 245, dude. That's insane. That's more than four times our normal earnings. More than four times. Getting close to five times. And like I said, there's still about five hours left in that 24-hour period. So I would not be surprised if we earned five times what we would normally make. This is a KS3. And uh, man, that's $42 for the day. Like, wow. If we end up hitting five times, even four times is really good. But usually I'd make about $10 a day. That's before power. So do keep that in mind. Now, looking over at K1 pool, I also had my K2 or excuse me, KS2s on. I did end up turning them off and wow, they got a, and I had my KS0 regular, not ultra or anything on, just eating those fees, man, from everybody launching these tokens, these memes, you know, having fun. Us as miners, we're just loving it. We're just soaking up the gains. But I turned it off. We hit 100, actually 101 on the balance. We're just waiting. That's going to take a long time to get paid out. But things went really, really well for those. The reason I turned these off, honestly, is just because the power bill, the, um, those are back at my house. I'm not, I'm not at my house right now. That's why I'm, you know, streaming in this terrible quality on the casting couch. But yeah, those are at about 19 cents electric rate, which is really, really, really high. And so I don't want to mess around with that too much. So yeah, mine, the ASIC is way off. I just loaded this again and it's saying we should be making about $1.66 at profit or $7.68 at 10 cents. The income would be $9.34. You can see we're well over $40. So yeah, mind the ASIC. You shouldn't be looking at this if you're considering how much you should be making. Let's look at something like Hero Miners. Let's just look at some of these block rewards, man. It is absolutely insane. I mean, we're still, the recent one is 156, which might not sound like a lot if you got used to some of the things earlier. At one point, there was a block that was 13 thousand caspa and if, you know the more you go down the more you'll see they are starting to slow down um as of 9 a.m at least for me which was about 30 minutes ago give or take as 359 400 you can see one almost normal there 87 but yeah the most recent one or two was 156 reward and 375 now this is still incredible guys the reason it's still incredible because normally according to cast fyi we should be getting about 82 Caspa on the block reward, just in general. That's what you normally would make. But yeah, just, I mean, dude, even getting 100 or 200 or 300, these are incredible. One thing I forgot to notice or to note to you guys is I was not solo mining and I did end up hitting a block here at 15%. But like I said, I was pool mining. Don't know what the reward would have been. I don't think it would have been that much. It probably would have been like three or 400, which would have been really nice. But hey, I went for the easy money, the guaranteed money, the pool mining. Let me know if you guys were pool mining or solo mining. But yeah, I would have hit one block and that would have been quite fantastic. So let's talk about like, why is this happening and some of the upcoming things that could potentially happen. Is this going to sustain? Well, let's talk about that. So Casplex here launched KRC20. You know, you can look through this. Um, you can do whatever you want with this KRC20 mainnet. That's basically what happened. I was listening to the mainnet countdown when I was live streaming on YouTube. It was a fun time. We had a launch party. We had like 150 to 200 people the whole time. Really great time, guys. If you're a miner, it's a really good time. Now, shout out to Casper the Ghost. Um, not sponsored. Nothing in this video is sponsored by, you know, just full disclosure. But Casper the Ghost did go ahead and mint out everything. 
And now that they're fully minted, which only took them three hours, I think maybe they didn't have enough supply or this was just the most interesting one. I'm not really sure, but everybody bought this in three hours. But they did announce that they are now trading on KSPR Bot. So it says it's a marketplace. I don't really know much about it. Maybe you guys can educate me on that. But look right here. Welcome to Casper Marketplace. To buy Casper, select an offer. You know, to sell your Casper, list an offer. So you're kind of just trading to other people at the moment. Um, you know, I don't know what the long-term goals are there. Maybe they want to come on the show and we can talk about it or something. Um, but basically, it's looking like, yeah, you can do peer-to-peer. -peer, you can trade with one another. But at the moment, it's not going to be, you know, on a DEX that you might be used to where you sell it for a million dollars or a thousand dollars. I have no idea. Maybe this will end up being huge, right? These these Casper coins, these Casper meme coins, you know, they're fully minted on a lot of these projects already. So what is going to happen with them? We will find out. I don't know. But yes, you are able to trade those at the moment for Casper. Now, if we look a little bit further, Nacho the Cat, they're already 90% minted. So what does this mean if you're a miner? If things are already 90% minted, I would assume that it's going to slow down as far as people buying them, at least until they come to a DEX. Uh, I don't think they would come to an exchange just because it's like a meme coin kind of deal. I'm not really sure how that works for Caspa, but I know for Solana, it works on DEX. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit different than like your standard exchange or something. So that's kind of where we're going to get more fees, right? Every time somebody buys, every time somebody sells, those are those extra fees that you can look forward to. It's certainly going to be slowing down, I would say. And as you can see, it has been slowing down because, yes, Casper, the biggest one, is, is done now. And then Nacho is about to be done. So I would imagine, you know, I know there's a bunch of other projects. And I think there's like up to 40 projects, which is really cool. So you really want them to do well. You want these projects to succeed. So that way, as a miner, you continue to get those fees. Now, something I found interesting was the Casware wallet. Casware wallet. It says, stop using Casware wallet. Like that's kind of crazy that they're announcing <laughs> this actually just happened about an hour ago. Stop using the Casware wallet. Like Casware is telling you that stop minting, stop transfer, stop RBF. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, stop adding tax fee, write down your seed phrase and passphrase, close browser, wait for further notice. So a lot of people are freaking out here. I just did a joke F and chat for people who lost their money, but I'm just joking. I don't, I don't know if people really lost their money. People are freaking out though, man. A lot of people are freaking out. They're not able to mint these coins. So you can see the demand is really, really high. If you're wondering what is the demand, what is the long term with this? I'm telling you, I've joined most of their discord. There's hundreds of people still wanting their coins and there's hundreds of people who just want to buy more and more, but they're not going to be able to, which again, you know, the supply and demand we'll kind of see how that goes but if there's a high demand they're gonna pay more right and maybe you, you bought it for one caspa each i have no idea or you bought a thousand of them for one caspa not really sure how much people paid right because i don't know everybody's backstory but these other people are gonna have to pay a higher premium for those same coins which would then make more and more fees for us again how long is this gonna last i'm not sure i'm not sure but let's look at Shy. What Shy is talking about. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. This is one of the developers that I highly respect from the Casper community. And he mentioned something here that I thought was really important yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen of Casper and crypto, I don't think you understand the magnitude of what is going on right now. We are witnessing for the first time in history a fully de uh, deployed production mainnet of proof of work coin perfectly handling a constant organic throughput of 250 to 300 bpx blocks per second so if we just look at cast fy uh, certainly um things have, have kind of changed there i'm not exactly sure what that means because according to cast fy i'm seeing under one blocks per second so i don't know if he meant tps which is like the transactions per second but this is insane if you think about it 300 tps real-time tps now it's 200 at the moment i mean that's that's never been done before. That's never been done before. And a lot of people are going to hate on Casper and say like, oh, it's just another, it's just another block DAG or it's just another blockchain, right? It just does the same thing as all of them. And it's like, if you really think about this logically, is it really doing what all of them have or has history actually been made? So let's continue. 250 to 300 blocks per second and queues in the tens of thousands. Now, Casper is a super, super fast uh, block DAG. Again, it's not a blockchain, but they want to even go faster 10 times that. So right now, you know, we should, in theory, if everything works out, see if we can go quicker. This is objectively the most successful live run in the history of proof of work. There's no way I'm not, you know, there's no way for me to really know the truth on that. I'm just going to take 
his words at face value for that. But I don't know of anything faster than Casper that can handle this amount of traffic. Sure, there are going to be things that are fast, but are they taking this amount of traffic? And so, yeah, you've got to understand KRC20 actually is not made from Casper. I know they helped a little bit, try to help fix it, which is going to be my next tweet there. But understand that is not from Casper. Imagine a layer one, right? That's that's what Ethereum was. Maybe you're familiar with Ethereum. This is a bridge from like New York City to New Jersey. The layer one is the bridge, okay? They build this amazing foundation, but you need vehicles on top of that bridge, like layer twos or smart contracts. You need things like KRC20, something to actually drive on your bridge. Otherwise, you just have a layer one and you just don't really do much with it. This is why KRC20 is just so exciting, but it's just one of those vehicles driving on that bridge. Who knows, like I said, when the smart contract comes and, and all these other things that are gonna be driving on that bridge for Casper and creating more and more fees. So people might be thinking, right, if you're a miner, like, is this gonna be 24 hours? Is this gonna be 48 hours? I do think it's definitely gonna slow down. We've already seen it slow down, but it's still paying out a lot, a lot of money. I mean, pretty much if you have any Casper machine, you should be profitable. Within reason, depending on your electric rate, you should be very, very profitable. And I would be mining. Absolutely. I would continue to mine if I were you. At least until things get back to normal and then maybe you reevaluate. So Shai also mentioned cast. I recommend avoiding using Castware wallet altogether for now. The last bug indicates that the Castware team did not sufficiently test their code under high loads and more bugs could be lurking. I remind you that Castware is not the only available third party KRC20 wallet. So yeah, if you guys are using Castware, you might want to stop using Castware because even the developer is saying they didn't test it well enough, right? So don't get mad at Castware. Please understand. You know, it is open source. Anybody can build on it. You could build on it. You could go on right now if you knew how. You could make your own meme coin. You could build things on top of it, right? Casper does not control that. The same way with Ethereum or insert your other favorite cryptocurrency, right? The layer one, once it's out there on the internet for people to use, right? As long as the layer one is functioning fine, they've done their job. The cryptocurrency, the crypto project has done their job and they can't control what everybody else is doing on top of it. So yeah, as far as mining, the yields are absolutely insane. If you're a miner right now, you are pretty much selling the picks and the shovels to the gold rush, right? You're letting all the timmies overpay. You know, maybe some people are paying 50 times, 100 times more to get those meme coins before they're fully minted out. But you, you're just a smart guy, right? You got the picks and the shovels. That's right. I'm mining. I'm eating those rewards. It's amazing. You're loving it. It's having, you know, just having a great time. And you should be really happy that these things are launching. What is next for Casper? That's kind of the big thing. Like, what is the next thing? Um, I'm not really 100% sure as far as the actual project side. I know Russ has been going really, really well for their nodes. But I mean, other things to look forward to as far as the development, hopefully Shy can some, you know, the developer can tell us more of what they actually have planned for crypto or excuse me, Caspa, the cryptocurrency itself. But I'm looking forward personally to like the tier ones coming out. I know Kraken has already announced that they will not plan, but will be, be uh, launching uh, Caspa. And that's going to be amazing. That's a tier one. Who knows what's next? Maybe one day Coinbase, right? These, I don't know. That's not really affected by KRC20, but as far as smart contracts, I'm not sure what the next one will be, or hopefully there'll be a bunch of them that all come. As far as 2025, guys, we are literally about to be in the bull run. We're quite literally three months away from 2025. I think the price of cash was going to shoot up to the moon, man. I really do. I just want to continue to yield as much as I possibly can, at least on my KS3. Uh, and then we'll just kind of see with the KS2s if the block fees just keep going crazy again, then yeah, I'll turn them back on. But man, it's been an amazing venture. There's people who've made even more than me, right? Because it really depends on what pool you're on. I was on Casper pool. If a lot of people hit a bunch of blocks, then I make a lot of money. But if you're on K1 pool or you're on, I don't know, nice hash or wherever you're mining, you know, mining two for your pool, they might hit more or less blocks. So some people are going to make five, six, 10 times their money. And other people like myself are going to make four, four and a half times their money. I'm not sure, but I do think that we're certainly going to see a boost. I personally would have to guess 
probably we're going to slow down to like 5%, maybe even 10% gains very soon, and then kind of sustain maybe around 5% boost. But hey, you know, if you were mining with something and you were told you get a 5% increase for the rest of your time mining, that would sound pretty great. And that might keep people on longer. And yeah, man, if you had a Casper machine, you should have been mining uh, the last 24 hours. It has even been 24 hours. I'm going to continue to leave it on. I'm really excited about it, man. And uh, this is just the beginning, guys. This is literally one vehicle on the bridge. Just imagine when we get a bunch of vehicles. Just This is kind of like the prelude to what could happen if and when Casper actually gets a bunch of smart contracts, man. And uh, yeah, more bullish than ever. And KRC20 actually worked this time. I love you guys. Please check me out on Twitter. It is at DJ Waters. It is at DJ Waters right here. I'll put a link for that in the description below. It'll say uh, DJ Mines, whichever one you want to do, guys. So please check me out. It's been an amazing time. I love all of you. There you go, at DJ Waters. Let me know how your experience was. Like I said, I, I bet your experience wasn't super positive if you were buying, but maybe you ended up minting some of the tokens. Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.